Hi guys, today I'm going to be mixing sulfuric acid and sugar to make different carbon snakes. A carbon snake is an eruption of black carbon from mixing acid and sugar. But for a twist, I'm adding borax. Borax is sodium borate. It should be mostly inert during the acid-sugar reaction. Watch till the end to see what happens. First though, get ready for an exothermic reaction. Sulfuric acid is a powerful dehydrating agent. It pulls water molecules out of sugar. The leftover material is almost pure carbon. The beaker is getting hot. It should produce steam soon. Hot water vapor and gases push the carbon upward, creating a foamy carbon snake. The steam is mostly hot water vapor. It can also contain sulfur dioxide and carbon monoxide. The carbon keeps rising and expanding into a porous tower. If ignited, it would smolder like coal, glowing red-orange as it burns. Let's see how it burns with boron in it. I'll add hand sanitizer that contains ethanol, which is a highly flammable liquid. The fire will burn longer than the carbon would alone. Borax contains boron, which has a bright green flame. See that green glow? It's boron's electrons jumping between energy levels. For the next experiment, I wanted to see if I could make the carbon snake glow using glow stick fluid. Glow stick fluid contains chemiluminescent chemicals. I will extract some using a syringe. Now let's add it to the sugar. You'll notice the color changes as I mix it. This is because the sugar's chemical environment alters the dye's energy states, shifting the wavelength of light it emits. Let's add the sulfuric acid. I'm hoping this carbon snake will glow as it grows. It looks like the intense acid reaction is breaking down the glowing sugar, stripping its light away. That's all for today, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe.